lifelong fan of the Trillic Wizard. He's always been a collector, and in the last few years, has begun to perform. Begun to perform. Many of you may have seen Jim this past spring on NBC's The Marriage Ref, as he and his wife. Now, I wasn't sure if it was debated or debuted his collection. Anyway, please welcome to the stage Jim Maurer. together. Good God, how long is I in that case? Aren't you? You're old, you're gray, you're wrinkly, you're fat. What? Wait a second, it hasn't been that long and I haven't changed that much. Maybe you just never took a decent look at me. Good word. <laughs> look, uh, we're lucky to be in front of an audience here today and we're here to excite and entertain these folks. You want to excite and entertain these folks, you're going to have to take off your clothes and run around on fire. <laughs> Maybe he can just run around on fire. <laughs> Is that a bad joke? You know I'm a little sensitive about my weight. You're not a little anything. <laughs> I'll have you know I've been on a diet the last 14 days. You know how much I've lost? I'd say close to two weeks. <laughs> I've lost like 10 pounds. Yeah? I think I found them. Uh, I guess I am a little out of shape. Hey, you're okay. Brown is still a shape. <laughs> You know there's a skinny guy inside me trying to get out. What'd you do, eat it yesterday? <laughs> Look, I thought tonight we might try a little, uh, hypnotism. What's that? Well, that's where one person tries to control the thoughts of another. I thought that was marriage. No. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna try to put you under. Under what? I'm gonna try to put you to sleep. Looks like you took care of the audience. <laughs> Follow my finger. You're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy. You need to trim your nails. <laughs> Look into my eyes. Now tell me, what do you see? I see a fat kid who likes to eat donuts. <laughs> Alright, uh, look, maybe we could just tell a story tonight. Do you have a story you can tell? Sure. Once there was a traveling salesman. Okay. And he was going door to door, and he knocked on this one door. And this lovely young girl in a thin negligee answered, Wait, 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 we're not telling any traveling salesman stories. This is a mixed audience. You're going to tell a story, you need to tell like an adventure. A young girl in a thin negligee, he doesn't think it was going to be an adventure. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, do you have another one you can tell? Sure. There was a truck driver. And he was going down the road. And a truck conked out. The truck conked out? Is that what you said? That's no, you don't understand what you're saying? All right. The, uh, the truck conked out, and then what? Well, he started going door to door, and finally came up to this huge house, and he knocked on the door, and this young girl answered the thing that, no, wait, 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 That's the same story you tried to tell a minute ago. Now, come on, can't you tell, like, an educational story, like a history story, maybe the, the midnight ride of Paul Revere? Oh, I know that one. All right, tell that. He wrote it out. Wrote it? Write it? No. Read? No. Read it? No. Well, he went out, and he was shouting and shouting. You know what he was shouting? That the British were coming. No, that there was this hot girl that they made the Look, I'm going to tell the story now, all right? But I'm going to tell you a story about George Washington. You know who George Washington was? Sure. Father of our country. That's right. Well, when George was little, his father gave him a small axe. Why did he do that? Well, I, I don't know. He just did. But one day, George took that axe and he used it to chop down his father's favorite cherry tree. Uh-oh. That's right. And when George's father came home, he said, Son, someone's chopped down my favorite cherry tree. Do you know who? And little George said, Father, I cannot tell a lie. It was me. And his father said, Are oh, you dirty look? No. His father said, No, oh, no. His father said, Son, it's okay. Now, do you know why his father said, son, it's okay? Jerry still had an axe in his hand. No. <laughs> he was rewarding him for his honesty. Sounds like a fairy tale. Well, hey, I know a story about George Washington. You do? Well, what is it? Well, when he, when he was done in the revolution, he got to be president. That's true. Only they didn't have a White House. Well, that's true. They didn't have a White House then. So he had to live in a greenhouse. Okay. One day a soldier came to the door. No, no. Okay. And he said, there's a young girl out here. No, stop. 
but we're just about out of time. But before we leave, is it true you got pulled over on I-71 the other day? Yep. You know, the speed limit's like 65. How fast were you going? A lot faster than that. All right. What happened? The officer asked me my license and registration, and I told him I didn't have either one. Well, I bet he wasn't happy about that. Nope. I said I didn't have a license because of my DUI, and I didn't have a registration because I stole the car. You told him you stole the car? Yep. I said there could be a registration in the glove compartment under my gun. You said you had a gun? Yes, sir. I said I hit it there after I shot and killed the driver. You told him you shot and killed the driver? Yep. I stuffed his body in the truck. Wait, what in the world? What happened? He called him back up. And the chief of police showed up. And he said, get out of that car. And did you? Yep. And I gave him my license and registration. Okay. And then what? Well, he wanted to look for the gun. Okay, oh, he did. Did he find it? Yeah, there was nothing there. Well, so what happened? He said he thought I might have a body in the trunk of the car. And we looked together, only there was nothing there. Well, so what happened? He said, I don't understand. That officer said you had a gun, no license, and a body in the trunk of the car. Yeah? I said, I bet that lion dog said I was speeding too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you got it, everyone. Yeah.